Okay, hey everybody, this is Grace. And I'm telling you, I've had a morning like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> I want to start talking about things that are more interesting. But I'm going to talk about my morning so I can get it off my chest here. But it's only 9.45 and I think I woke up, I don't know, not later than I usually do. I woke up at like 7.30. And it was one of those mornings. Now, today is Friday. And Adam basically didn't have off today and big confusion with his story but he has off for like three weeks somewhere around there now for the holidays and everything so it's Friday and I kept thinking it was Saturday because I'm used to him only being off on weekends sometimes and so I was saying I want to get you know going to go to just shop just to get out of the house for a while and uh, go shopping early at Dollar Tree opens at 8 and so I was going to do some videos from there and uh, I was thinking all that, and then I remembered it's, it is fr Friday, so people would be on the road hurrying to get to work, you know, and rush hour traffic, and that's just not something I like to do. I've done it, but I don't like to. Of course, when I was working, I'm, I'm a homemaker, but when I was working, I would have to, and it was just pure hell, you know, <laughs> really. And by the way, this video is for adults only, and it's meant for adults, but anyway, so I waited until, you know, like I said, it's 9.46 now, but, um, you know, to leave. And as I was getting ready to leave, I couldn't find one of my shoes because, you know, we had this new puppy, <clears throat> which is way too feral. And we were kind of not given enough information about the puppy. And we didn't know certain information that we were under. Uh, like the woman who gave, actually got the puppy for us, gave it to us, you know, it was a rescue. She's, she told us it was two months old. It wasn't. Uh, as, it as it turned out, two days later, I found out from the owner, the original owner. It was like a month and a half. And we had to get, you know, shots and everything. And, you and I didn't know that you can't give rabies shots to a puppy until it's something like 16 weeks old. 16 weeks old. Or old. Something like that. And so it has to stay inside, which means yes. You know, it can't go out. It can't basically go out into the backyard. You know, anywhere where another animal might bite it, and that would be in the backyard because we have all these feral animals, you know. And uh, so this morning I couldn't find my shoe. I usually put a up on this thing that it can't, you know, it's, it's hard to break your old habits. And anyway, the puppy had hidden it. And I go and I get it, finally find it. Adam had put it in a box. <laughs> it was just one of those mornings. And... I put them on and I'm walking around getting myself ready. I said, what is that smell? It smells, I said, I smell poo. And I'd already cleaned up all the poo, you know, because the dog is, the puppy's stuck in the house. And overnight, it's the, uh, and I'd done all that this morning, which gr totally grosses me out because it's deworming now. And it just grosses me out anyway. And, oh man, you know, so much. And I'm like, what, where it where it is the poo? I kept smelling in the kitchen. Well, as it turns out, it was on the bottom of my other shoe. Okay, yeah, that's all so gross, and it's fresh. And I don't find out until I get in my SUV, my new SUV. It still has a new car smell uh, since I got it new, brand new in uh, May. Still has it. Yeah. So, oh my goodness, it's like I had to go wash the shoe off. The shoe's in here right now after I wash it off in the. I didn't want to get my hands dirty again, and I used a straw to get it out. It was like, I'm going to make videos that are a little bit more raw, and some of it's like, ear gross, Grace. But yeah, you know, this this is part of life. And it would explain sometimes the way I uh, feel is not always, you know, normal, really. And that's because none of this is my real norm. You know, I'm having, this is three weeks now. Yeah, forgive me if I blow my nose. <laughs> I'm going to be raw. I'm not going to be this nicey, nicey work. It's real life is happening to me. Yeah. And uh, it always has, but I, I don't know why it is I got into this thing of not talking about some things. You know, and basically because I was raised with a lot of manners. You know, you had to have a lot of manners. And I, I have a channel that I talk about um, dysfunctional families and narcissistic and histrionic abuse and so on. So and so forth, and you know I do on here too. But um, 
I still leave out what's going on in my life, and that is so unusual. Here it is, stream of consciousness. But it's unusual for me because starting back sometime in the 1990s, late 1990s, I guess, I, or some mid-1990s, I don't remember, but um, I would do what were then like online journals, and then online diaries, and then people call them blogs, stuff like that, and I would tell more of the truth. I didn't disclose everything, of course, you know, you, it's not safe for anybody to disclose everything about themselves, and, um, you know, to each their own, but everybody has something, I, th I would think, that they just don't disclose. Some people, maybe not. Maybe they do disclose everything. I just don't think that's very safe, and none of it's very safe when you get really down to it. But I've been online since 1990, and anything you might consider, you know, like a social media platform, you know, they changed over the years quite a bit. So anyway, but anyway, back to my morning, if I can get back there morning so far so I had I also had a pair of shoes in my in here in my SUV of course I'm only gonna find one <laughs> you would think I would also have socks because I have pillow I have actually have a pillow and a little blanket it's just something that I developed you know many years ago you always have something just in case like you're traveling or something or you get you know something like your car breaks down and you're it's real cold and you have to wait for somebody, you have something comfortable, you know, this kind of thing. I felt that years ago and it just stuck and I think it's a good thing. But also I have a pair of shoes and you know, and I also have like a pair of clothes usually, usually. I don't know if I do in this one, but in case, you know, you're out and something happens like you split your pants or something, <laughs> you'll split them, you bend down and whoops, yeah. I, I actually saw a woman in the store one time that she didn't realize that it seemed, but um, Anyway, boy, I'm rambling this morning, but I want to ramble. It was a morning, and now, I mean, it's not even over. I'm going to Dollar Tree, and who knows what's going to happen there. <laughs> there is one store that I go to, and it seems like, well, so, there are more than one, but they seem like there's going to be a drama. You know, there will be a drama, not me causing the drama, me witnessing a drama, or somebody trying to get me into whatever kind of drama they have. Yeah, it's more than one store, really. I'm just sitting here thinking about it. But anyway, what I was thinking this morning when I left, not when I left, before I left and had all this, uh, it, by the way, the reason I want to, I was I'm desperate to get out, and I'm glad he's home for this time because I need help with that puppy. That puppy, I'm, I'm a homemaker. I'm home with it all day because I don't want to leave it with Marmaduke, the big dog. Uh, it's taken a while for the big dog to get adjusted. The big dog has dementia. And it's just kind of rough. And I don't want him to leave him alone. I, I, I'm seeing that, you know, from now on I'll be more like putting the big dog in another room. And yeah, I'm not going to chance it. It's not worth it. But, um, you know, do something like that so I can get out. Because it's like I'm a new fur baby mama, you know. It's something new. And... It's a lot to be have that kind. In the first few days, man, I was like worn out. Found muscles I didn't know I had. <laughs> yeah, having to pick up the puppy, take the stuff out of the puppy's mouth, that kind of thing. Clean up after the puppy, all that. Yeah. But so I'm not really in my regular normal self, which sometimes I'm not either, because life, when you're around people who are narcissistic, histrionics, life is not normal. Seriously. Mm -mm. And you know that I've mentioned that place where I live is really a certain area where people, you know, it's a wealthy place. I'm not the saying that just because a place is wealthy, this happens. But it's a wealthy place and it had a um, reputation of people being rather narcissistic. And it's in, you know, the reputations, generalizations, stuff like that. I'm not for stereotypes and all. And it, but it really is just some people in certain areas. And you know, it's just more, it's more part of the culture in a way. Not the whole suburb, not just one of Dallas, no. And it's a difference going inside, outside, different places and all that, you know. It's not one size fits all. But anyway, where was I going? <laughs> but it's exhausting. To, like I said, I can go to a store and there's going to be some, some drama, you know. And so, but I'm a person, I like to be out at least one place every day. 
I don't like staying at home. So it's kind of like, what the heck? You know, I don't want to have to drive it 10, 10 miles outside of here to reach a place that's kind of normal because that 10 miles can be 45 minutes or more. You know, just one way. Just to go to a store, just to get out, you know, something like that. I'm not into that. So, and I am venting in this. But some of the stuff, I have never given enough background on any of my channels. And this is, if I put it on the right channel, I'm going to start putting them on the right channel. You know, all of them. Instead of putting on different channels and all that. Because that confuses the heck out of me. <laughs> you know, at my age 56, yeah. You know, I'm doing good to remember what I did in this that video. What all I said in the video. Because, you know, I'm thinking about what I want to say. And then when I say it, it might not be the same thing. So, putting them all on different channels, yeah. And plus, uh, yeah, yeah. I had some negative stuff on one of my, on two of my channels, I guess. And I just, I've had negative stuff. Yeah, there's good stuff, of course, but some negative that I really don't want to use those channels anymore. And I mentioned some of it, but I haven't mentioned the, the part really about people. You know, I did in the, when it was happening, but really not since then. And I, just, I want to just keep those channels. I might just turn off all the videos on them, turn them on, put them on private. Yeah, even though one of them just keeps growing. I'm serious, it just keeps growing. And that's so unusual. It, it wasn't growing in the past, and this one's not growing at all. So, yeah, it's one of those, you know. I really don't want to keep repeating myself on this channel. But, you know, each video is a new video. And some of it you have to tell the story behind the back of the last one. You know, or kind of repeat a little bit. You know, like when you watch a series on TV, at the beginning of it, they give you, like, previously on whatever, you know, whatever series it is, this happened. And they just give you little clippets and stuff so you, you remember a little bit. That's how you have to do on video, too. You don't have to, of course, and it makes people a little upset because they don't know what the heck you're talking about. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. But, yeah, you know, and it, but it just, it can drag on you, too. You know, when you're, on people who are watching. But, I was going to mention in some video, and I, I just keep forgetting. It is, you know, I do these videos about people who call me because I've had big problems with them with on, yeah, people copycatting everything I say, and some of them are just kind of downright eerie, and it doesn't have to be me, just me that they're doing it to. Well, I also want to mention that, yeah, people who are like the same age, or they had the same job, or they had the same whatever, similar, you know, of course they're going to have similar thoughts and all that every once in a while, you know, and people around my age, we say, we use certain expressions, and you know, along this line, and we might have something similar. Now, I'm not talking about people who are like that. I'm talking about when it's consistent. Like, I make a video today, and somebody tomorrow makes a video on the same topic, and then the next day, and then the next day, and then the next day. Non-stop, they're doing the same topic. That's what I'm talking about. You know, that's, when, that's not good. That's the copycats I talk about. You know, and it just can go on. One of them, you know, some of them go on for a really long time. One of them, I think the person still does it, but I just don't pay attention anymore. You know, at, at some point you say, oh, that, you know, you can say I'm going to out you. <laughs> you know, and they don't care. They don't care. And I've had channels that got um, popular because they were using my content that I had just put up. And yes, and I'm well aware some people are much better at, um, you know, doing videos and basically speaking. Okay, mine I'm a little scattered because like Adam's off these three weeks. I can't do them at home. Uh, it's just going to be too noisy. and So I'm not that concentrating. I'm driving and all this stuff. Yeah, but to steal somebody's content, that's bad. That's just downright dirty. Okay, <laughs> downright dirty. Oh, man. And, you know, anyway. I'm going to go into this store. Whew, I'm, I'm just glad to be out, really, to be out of the house. I, my brain can get a little bit more normal. You know, it, I'm serious. It's not like some disorder. You know, people are going to want to put a label on it. It's just been three weeks. Is it three weeks or is it four? Well, no, it's three weeks. 
of dealing with a puppy that is too feral. <laughs> it doesn't learn. It doesn't have boundaries still. And I know puppies are like that, but I still didn't know enough about the puppies, about the rabies shot until not get it until 16 weeks. I didn't know that. And I never really experienced de deworming a puppy with the pill, you know, those the two different kinds and Oh, the fears it brought about me, seriously, my brain sometimes goes way out there, especially when something, I was going to mention that too, something, I was standing next to the puppy putting its uh, leash on, and it wasn't real close to me, but something just, bam, hit my ankle that was, you know, exposed, it wasn't covered up, and it just left a little hole in it, I had Adam look at it, because I couldn't look at it real close, because I'm near sighted and I'm my age, and he said, yeah, it definitely was something bit me, just like a hole. So, of course, my brain goes crazy on that. And just picking up that kind of stuff and reading on that stuff. Yeah, I told Adam, don't let me read anymore. <laughs> I'm going to get paranoid. But anyway, I'm going to go into the Dollar Tree. Gotta find some stockings. <laughs> they were here at one point. They're probably all gone by now. See the big store. Man, big store. Okay, am I passing them up? Somebody tell me. There they are. Oh, kitty, kitty. Puppy, puppy. Oh, well, those are cute. Gingerbread. Cute little ones. Play, play toys. <laughs> It'll be you. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I, I did a little video with me on it. It looked okay when I was looking in the, at the camera doing it. And then when I went back and looked, looked through gallery, oh my goodness, every little flaw you know, this, they're high definition. Every little flaw just stuck out big. <laughs> so, you know, because I was, uh, I actually showed my hands. Remember I was saying that my hands, um, I think in a video yesterday, first off, my fingers are swollen. It's been like that since Monday, and today's Friday. And they go down a little bit, but not like they used to be. I don't know what's going on. Probably not enough humidity and uh, enough um, hydration and humidity. I told Adam, I said, I'm not getting any through osmosis. <laughs> Because the, the humidity is down to in the 30s, I think. I, my, it's got to be 50s for me. Plus, I have those. The heater does that to my hands. I've mentioned that in a video. You know, it just started a couple, two or three years ago. I don't know. But it, it cracks my skin on my hands. And all of that showed in high definition. <laughs> Isn't that what it's called? High definition. Anyway, I need to find something. I went to Dollar Tree, did all that. I need to find something that is a shoe rack. And Adam, I told Adam about it. I was going to get shoe racks for both of us. And he said to get <clears throat> ones that, you know, you hang up. I said, well, those are kind of, I couldn't, couldn't imagine finding them at Dollar Tree, and I didn't. And, uh, but those, I think, are kind of like, you got to find them in a special, you know, a store especially for, I don't know. But there's a Bed Bath & Beyond across the street. And I don't know if they would be in Bed Bath & Beyond. What do you think? And there's a Hobby Lobby right here next to me. I don't know how much room I have left. Oh, I have 58 minutes left on my camera. <sighs> okay, which one is it going to be? 
I don't want to walk all the way around the Hobby Lobby to try to find it. And I just don't think they'd be in the Hobby Lobby. I think it'd be more like the Bed Bath & Beyond, but I, I don't tend to go to that big store, you know what I'm talking about. I don't like to go there. I would probably find them there. Well, anyway, I'm wrapping this up. Probably start another one because I did a few, several clips while I was in there. and Plus, I was wearing my mittens at most of it, except for the very beginning. And then I tried them out, see if I could actually turn the camera off with my mittens on. And it would take a little bit, but finally it would do it. So, anyway. Why, why I said that, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up and then check out another video coming up. Talk to you all in another video. Oh, yeah.